What Would You Make is an open playlist with the stars of the show, hosts OK at Home DIY, and Connie's Creative Creations. The supporting guest is Teresa B. DIY. These women have amazing channels, are super creators, and so kind. The links to their channels is listed below. So be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. Also, be sure to follow all of the other amazing collaborators that are in the playlist. The playlist is listed below. So keep watching to see what is being made. I am an affiliate for Woodpecker's Crafts, and here is a preview of the things I purchased and some that were sent to me. Let's see what we have. I have some acorns. They're flat, as you can see, and the various leaves, different types. A cat, some pumpkins, apples, some wooden box, a sun, and a cat, and then there are some other things. Thanks so much for sending me these first class pieces of wood. The wood is thick with smooth edges and looks good when made in various styles. So let's get started with some fall decor. The first DIY you need is a wooden leaf from Woodpecker's Crafts, a maple leaf from Nature, some gold glitter, Mod Podge, and some paint brushes. Also, you need some acrylic paint and pumpkin, that's an orange color, light to yellow, lustrous red, orange, thicket, that's a green color, and splendid gold. And the last thing you need is some gloss or matte clear spray. So I was inspired by something I saw at the Urban Garage Marketplace. I thought I would try it. Therefore, here goes. I changed my mind so many times on a color to paint the leaf. I first tried a light brown, then orange, but did not like the look. Finally, I settled on green. Then I picked a live green maple leaf about the size of the wooden leaf and brought it home. I spot painted the leaf pumpkin, which is an orange color, light yellow, lustrous red, orange, thicket, which is a green, and splendid gold. And then I took a sponge and dabbed the colors into the live leaf. And when I finished, I turned it over onto the wooden leaf and pressed it down to infuse the colors onto the wooden leaf. I really like that look. And then after it was dry, I took a piece of cardboard and placed it diagonally on top of the leaf and brushed Mod Podge at an angle just on the bottom part of the leaf. Now, I don't know if you all know, but I'm not really a fan of glitter because it seems to scatter everywhere but I used it. I poured gold glitter on the bottom half of the leaf and when it was dry I sealed the glitter with gloss spray. Since it is sealed you can set your drink or you can set a candle on top without the glitter being everywhere. I love the look and it is a great fall aesthetic. Another fall DIY. I was inspired by, I put the O in mom. 
She made something similar to this using a wooden Christmas tree. So I am making this one using two acorns given an ode to Paul. The supplies include one large wood acorn and one medium sized acorn from Woodpecker Crafts. A Mod Podge, bronze colored glitter, wood glue, a drill and a one and a half spade bit, paint, some brown acrylic, and clear gloss spray. I glued the two different sizes of acorns together, putting the smaller one in the middle and attached it with some wood glue. I took my drill and made a spot for a tea light in the middle of the smaller acorn. But I had to scrape away some of the excess wood to be able to put the tea light in securely so it had a space for it. I painted both acorns brown and let dry. Then I brushed Mod Podge on the top of each acorn and spread bronze colored glitter just on the top of the acorns. You know I had to be extra, so I sprayed the tea light brown and put on Mod Podge and then some more bronze glitter followed by clear gloss spray. Then I sprayed with gloss finish and put a tea light in the middle. Or you can use a candle as long as it has a metal container or glass container. But you can use battery operated tea light, which is what I did. This can go right on into the holidays. The last DIY is a plant holder. It can be a candle or flower holder or a candy jar holder, anything you want to dream about. Again, woodpeckers crafts to the rescue. The supplies needed include a wooden box, and this is from Woodpecker, some brown paint that I watered down as the same, black acrylic paint, gold spray paint, some tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree, four round gold jewels that I had in my stash, and I had a square glass vase that was thrifted that fit perfectly inside the box. Wow, who would have thought? The wooden box was unfinished and I thought I was stain it light brown. However, I did not like it, so I painted the outside black and left the inside watered down paint stain. I made the box holder stand from tumbling tower blocks. I put them together using wood glue from Dollar Tree in the form of an X. I sprayed it gold with Rust-Oleum paint and put jewels on the four posts of the box. I thrifted a glass vase container that fit perfectly inside the box. Now this container can house fresh or dried flowers. A candle, it can be a floating candle or a plant or a candy jar, anything like that. This is a simple but elegant box to use anytime 
any occasion for any reason. And remember to subscribe and join the Z9 Design families. There is something for everyone. Also, be sure to like, comment, and save. Make sure you subscribe and comment because there is a gift card when I reach 700. Throw kindness around like seed and watch it grow and multiply in others. This quote is from yours truly, Z9 Designs. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.